What is up you guys and welcome back to another Drunken Tales. Now today's episode is going to be about the time that I woke up and was in the middle of London and had to find my way back to where I was meant to be staying in. And it was just about basically a night out that I had, like a sort of last minute night out that I had with Benny Central and it was absolutely fantastic. So, I was down in London beginning of September, so this is set uh, four weeks before Eurogamer, so I was down there. Um, and then it was kind of a spontaneous, I was just, you know, seeing people and go to concerts and stuff like that and... At the time, that night, there was actually an event on, a Call of Duty event, and it was actually like uh, early access recording for Ghosts, um, and Zonda was at that, and Benny was at that, um, as well as Liam. So I gave them a text around 10 o'clock once it finished. They were at a bar, I like walked the mile to where they were, um, and I met at the bar, so I met Zonda, Benny, and Liam at the bar. I had a, conveniently, when I got there, it was my round, so I had, a, had a, one drink there. And then they all left because Luke had to go home because he had work the next day. Liam, um, so it was just me, Liam and Benny. So we were walking, we were just going to get the tube home. And um, we were contemplating going out, do we go out, do we not go out? Um, and I was thinking, okay, you know what? Liam didn't want to really want to go out because like, if he didn't pull, you know, like he was like, right, I'll look at it this way. If I pull, you know, that's fine. I don't mind spending the 40 quid on the taxi back to mine. But if I don't, it's a 40 quid back, like taxi back by myself. So, you know, so... He decided to go home, so Benny and I walk into another tube station, or then we stopped in the street to contemplate it, like, you know, me and you could just go out, find some women, see what happens, you know, um, I'm just standing there talking to the street, contemplating this, and then walk past three women, right? And then, like, I hear one of the girls whisper to her friend, oh my god, I love his accent, aimed at me, obviously, because, you know, Benny has a London accent, I have a, my accent, obviously. I was like, cheers, thanks, um, and like, Oh my god, did you hear that? I was like, yeah, it's like, obviously. So, oh, where are you from? So, got into a big conversation with them, and they're like, oh, where are you going? It's like, um, you know, we're thinking about going home. And they're like, oh, don't go home, come to Roxy's, it'll be great fun. So, we're like, right, let's go to Roxy's, you know, see how it is. So, spontaneous decision to go to Roxy's. I wasn't dressed for it. I had like chinos and like a Hoodie Allen t shirt on, because I'd just been a Hoodie Allen, and it was fine. So, went in, um, went with those girls. Benny hooked up with one of them. Um, and I was just like, all right, okay. Her friends are not that hot. They're hot, okay, and I could have pulled them. But I went to the bar to buy a round. Lost Benny by this point, so, point, so I was like, right, I'll buy, I'll, I'll buy a round for everyone. Um, and I'll just, you know, see what happens. And I was at the bar, went to buy a round. This girl was just sort of like standing there by herself. Started chatting to her. Used my old good old charm, my Scottish charm that I do all the time. And uh, basically ended up pulling her just like, 50 minutes after I like, started talking to her, she was like, oh, do you want to leave, come back to mine, because this is kind of shit. I was like, yes. So, I got a taxi back to hers, which I paid. I think it was just fucking a, a scam to get me to pay it. Uh, went to hers, slept with her, and then woke up the next day. So when I woke up the next day, there was a note on the bedside table saying, away to class, um, give me a t uh, we'll be back around 12, to make yourself at home, uh, give me a text. I was like, oh, okay, so, I was like, fine, got up, had a shower, uh, got my clothes back on from last night put the number on my phone, and then went to phone a taxi, but then realised, wait, where the fuck am I? Because my phone was like on like 3% battery, she didn't have an iPhone 5 charger, so I was like, fuck, so, um, basically I had to wander out, uh, try and find a taxi rank and get the taxi back to where I was staying, uh, but yeah, I also posted an interesting picture on Twitter, if I still have access to it, I'll post that, it was, um, just, yeah, it was her room basically. Um, so if you do are watching this random London girl whose number I didn't, I forgot to like text uh, and now don't have on my phone, then you know, hit me up, uh, let me know. But anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this Drunken Tales, let me know in the comments section below if you want to see more. If we can smash 125 likes guys, that'd be awesome. If you want to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or Google+, links to them will be in the description. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Other than that guys, I have been the Prentice, I've said, and I'll see y'all soon.